This is GR Earth, just showing you some of the capabilities of GR Earth. Uh, this is your main screen. You can zoom out, take a look at the world. You can zoom in. We're going to zoom in on the Northeast snowstorm on January 26, 2011. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the satellite. So we're going to go over here and click on GOES. And there is the big storm in the Northeast. Let's turn on water vapor. Take a little bit of time to load all the images depending on how many frames. You can go up here and you can set your animation settings. I've got mine to loop speed and then uh, I can go back 95 minutes. You can increase that quite a bit or you can reduce it. Uh, whatever you want. You make it one hour. And there we go. There's one hour. So we'll do that and you see the low pressure winding up off the northeast coast and a big snowstorm. Let's turn the satellite off. Let's turn on radar and I've got it on this here you hit this button up here the precip typing button and it changes it from just regular radar to precip typing you can see here this is snow back here this is rain of course and then this red area is freezing rain sleet mixture uh, there's a color coding it's a probability table you can read more about that on the GR uh, products the earth manual and let's turn on the METARs and you can see here uh, let's let's stop the animation go up here and stop that let's go hover over these you see light snow uh, freezing rain you see the different icons uh, depicting the different weather of course the snowflakes are snow and then down here rain light rain um, earlier I saw some thunderstorms on there but I don't see that right now up here you've got a mixture this is freezing rain right there I'll go up here some freezing rain being reported also some freezing rain there uh, we can also right click in it if you own the GR uh, Gibson Ridge the radar level 3 or level 2 will open that so I'm just going to click that switches it over and uh, turns on your local radar there you go we're going to switch back to GR Earth uh, you can also click it and go to the National Weather Service forecast this is for the Philadelphia area and you see winter storm warning uh, snow tonight 5 to 9 inches impressive and then uh, you can go back to GR Earth. You can right click anywhere and it bring up the forecast. There you go. Forecast for East Crossroads, Pennsylvania, winter storm warning. Um, we can turn, let's turn radar off. Any of this, you can overlay any of it. But let's turn radar off. Let's turn the meter, just leave the meter on. There you go. There's a thunderstorm, a light thunderstorm with snow. Uh, there's another one, thunderstorm in vicinity. Let's change that to temperature. You go up here to your METAR manager and see we change it to temperature dew point, wind, wind gust, and wind chill. We're going to turn it back over to the temperatures there. Let's go to, uh, let's turn on the mesoscale discussion. There you go. You see mesoscale discussion. Click it. Brings up your mesoscale discussion. This is probably going to be for heavy snow and it looks like, uh, looks like it is. Mesoscale discussion for heavy snow for uh, New York City metro area. I'm going to close that and turn that back off. Uh, I turn on the mesoanalysis overlay, and I've got that on the 850 millibar uh, option there. I turn that off, put it on surface pressure, and you see the low there, 996 millibars off the coast. And you can loop this as well. Let's take it through there. Uh, 10 meter wind, another option there. You zoom in, see the wind uh, right above the surface there. Uh, change that, like I said, 850 millibar heights. You can do the 850 millibar winds. All sorts of options over here. Let's turn that off and let's go to uh, mesoanalysis fill. And let's put this on the three hour snowfall. This is a forecast for the upcoming three hours of how much snow is forecast to fall. Your scale is over here. Uh, you see half inch, one inch, one and a half inches, two, three. The reds you're getting into one inch per hour rates in the reds. Orange is about uh, two, two and a half inches over the next three hours. Um, and this is off. This is a forecast based on RUC. Um, that's how the radar is as well with the precip type, and it's based on the, uh, I believe, 13 kilometer RUC, uh, the RUC model. And uh, it does a pretty good job. I've watched it for a while now, and it seems like it does quite well with depicting where the precip differences are: freezing rain, sleet, snow. Again, it's a probability scale. That gives you an idea of some of the uh, options on GR. Earth, and you can find out more about that. Just Google GR Earth or Gibson Ridge Radar Products, and uh, you can see see all the uh, products that are available. You can zoom out here on the world. Put it back on temperature.